Samsung just dropped a bombshell, and this time, it's not about the design or the camera. It's about pure power. The Galaxy S26 Ultra might officially destroy everything we thought we knew about smartphone performance. According to Tipster Jukin, Samsung's new Exynos 2600 is six times faster than Apple's N19 Pro chip. Yeah, six times. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete comeback. Jukin revealed that Samsung is planning a 50-50 split for the Galaxy S26 lineup, half powered by the Exynos 2600 and the other half using Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite. The Exynos variant will reportedly cover Korea and Europe, while Snapdragon takes over in the US, Japan, and China. But here's where it gets crazy. According to another trusted tipster, Ice Universe, Samsung is even considering using the Exynos 2600 across the entire Galaxy S26 series. He literally said, my God, is the change so big? And honestly, he's right to be shocked, because leaked performance reports from Korean media show that the Exynos 2600 is shaping up to be an absolute monster. Its NPU, Neural Processing Unit, is reportedly over six times stronger than Apple's N19 Pro. The CPU shows a 14% boost in multi-core performance, and the GPU sees a staggering 75% jump in graphics power. To put that into perspective, compared to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite, the Exynos 2600 still delivers 30% stronger NPU performance and up to 29% better GPU gains. And here's the biggest twist. This marks the first time since 2022 that Samsung is using its own Exynos chip inside an Ultra flagship. Even the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to feature the Exynos 2600, sending a clear message that Samsung finally believes in its own silicon. Samsung has also reportedly secured a deal to manufacture Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite chips using its tuned gate all-around process meaning both Exynos and Snapdragon versions of the S26 could literally be Samsung made from top to bottom. So yeah, this time, Exynos isn't just back, it's taking over. The Galaxy S26 Ultra could become the most powerful and balanced Samsung flagship ever, and maybe even end the chip war. What's your thoughts on this? Let me The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra has just surfaced on Geekbench, giving us the very first look at its raw performance numbers, and the results are nothing short of impressive. According to the benchmark listing, the Galaxy S26 Ultra, model number is M938N, running Android 15 and a Linux 6.6 .6 kernel delivered a single core score of 3,330 and a multi-core score of 10,452. These numbers place it among the most powerful Android devices we've seen to date. For context, this marks a major leap compared to the Galaxy S25 Ultra, pushing even closer to Apple's A-series chip performance. A single-core score above 3000 indicates blazing fast responsiveness, while a multi-core score over 10,000 shows just how much power Samsung is packing into its upcoming flagship. The benchmark also confirms that the device will ship with Android 15 out of the box, aligning perfectly with Samsung's software rollout timeline for 2026. This supports earlier leaks suggesting that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will be one of the first devices optimized for One UI 8.5. If these numbers hold up in the final retail version, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could easily become one of the fastest smartphones on the market, raising the bar for both Android and iOS rivals. What do you think about these early results? Is Samsung finally catching up, or even surpassing Apple in raw performance? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12 megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of storage, UFTS 4.0.
The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4900 mAh unit with 45 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120 and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so 